Welcome to this Camera IB5 tutorial. In this video you will gain insight into the application settings and parameters. Here you can find the application settings, then the exposure program mode, and here at the bottom we can find some very important parameters for the photo like white balance, focus mode, light metering modes, ISO sensitivity and exposure compensation. I will explain later how to change all the settings. This is the photo capture button, but you can use a shutter key as well if your device has one. To trigger the autofocus system, tap on the screen or half press the shutter key. The photo parameters are from left to right, aperture, exposure time expressed in fraction of seconds, and ISO sensitivity. The ISO sensitivity can be changed by using the ISO toolbar located at the bottom of the viewfinder. The number in the square brackets indicate the number of remaining shots in the correct selected media and the last number indicates the number of shots pending to be written. The plus minus icon opens the exposure compensation toolbar. Then, with the plus and minus buttons, we can adjust exposure time relative to the current exposure time calculated by the camera. When we are done, to dismiss this dialog and others as well, just tap outside it. As we said before, to adjust the ISO sensitivity, we can do this by using the ISO sensitivity toolbar. Here we can choose from 100 to 1600 or activate ISO automatic. Once we have chosen a value, we will see the changes reflected instantly. Although in this particular bright scene, we are not going to see the difference. Light metering modes are useful to determine which part of the photo is going to be taken into account to calculate the right exposure. Matrix, center and spot are the three different choices available. Center uses only the central part of the frame to calculate the right exposure, whereas spot uses just the focus rectangle area. Matrix, the default mode, uses the whole frame area to calculate the right exposure. There are different focus modes available in camera every 5 depending on which model you have. Those focus modes are autofocus, macro, dot focus, infinity focus, plus an autofocus lock toggle. Macro mode will let you focus on closer objects, but it will work with other distances as well. Automatic focus is a default mode and will let you focus on any object on the scene. Infinity Focus Mode will disable the automatic focusing and will make far away objects to remain always in focus. Finally, Touch Focus Mode lets you choose which object should be in focus. To do so, tap on the screen to move the focus rectangle position. The Focus Lock toggle prevents accidental focus changes by locking the screen. When the focus lock is active, tapping on the screen doesn't change the focus position, thus preventing accidental focus changes while other parameters are being adjusted. While in touch focus mode, coming back to autofocus mode resets the touch focus rectangle. White balance lets you compensate lighting conditions of different color temperature. You can choose from some presets like sunny or cloudy conditions, or just choose automatic white balance to let the application decide which situation is right for you. Of course, you can choose the wrong white balance setting if you want to create a warm or colder sensation for your photo. 